I'm Matt, and this is Shane. And for our final AP Calculus uh, project, we decided to do the accelerations associated with different, different physical activities. And so these are some of the tools that we use to measure our physical accelerations. Yeah, so I don't so, know if will explain what these, what these tools are. Yeah, so what this guy is is an accelerometer. And uh, all it does is it takes accelerations from whatever we do and records it onto here. This is a Lab Pro, it's pretty expensive. Um, and what we can do with that information recorded on this guy, we can plug this guy in here and put this in a computer. And with Logger Pro software, we can record and look at the graphs of our accelerations relative to time. So, and uh, with this, uh, through our physical activities, you're going to see us wearing this vest, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> All this vest does is allows us to put this in here, and allows us to orient this any way we want. To measure acceleration in the direction that we want. A uh, typical data set that we would get from the accelerometer in a vest would look something like this. Um, and in order to turn the acceleration into a more usable, usable unit of measurement, um, we can multiply the acceleration by mass and we'll get force. So we can isolate a certain area, which would be the hit point, the point where, yeah, the point we care about, <laughs> which would be the jump. We can isolate a certain point on this data set um, and then we can multiply it by the mass that was involved in the physical activity. And so if you take the mass of each point, um, the graph gets exaggerated and accentuated in certain parts. So if you like So the graph looks something like, oh crap. <laughs> Anyways, the graph looks something like this. Um, so with this new data set, um, we can figure out force. So now that we have a good force versus time graph, we can find the area under the curve, which is an impulse. This guy. Okay, so what an impulse is, is force multiplied by time, which is equal to our mass times change in velocity. So for example, let's say in our physical activities that we get a force of 100 newtons and within a time of 0.1 seconds. And we can set that equal to our mass, which is 10 kilograms. And our variable is change in velocity. So 10 times 0.1, or 100 times 0.1 is 10. And that equals this times this. 10 divided by 10 is 1 meter a second, which is our velocity. Change. So since we know that at the, when we hit something at the bottom of our physical activity, that is zero. And so this is, since 1 is a change in velocity, we know that the initial velocity was 1. And since acceleration equals velocity final minus velocity initial over time, we can find that our acceleration was 10. So we just proved our acceleration graph. See, 0 0.1, it's at 10 meters a second. Here's some physical activities for you guys. But please don't try this at home because we're professionals. And it hurts! Seriously, like a gimpy girl. <laughs> Whoa!
It's had better lights. <laughs> I really wish you were wearing a helmet. Yeah, that would be better. You got 12 seconds. What else we could do for forces? Like, I don't know, we did stairs and other stuff. So. Oh, free! <laughs> what the crap? Shane, I got a really good idea. You should get in this, and I will throw you off of that. That is a good idea. I think I'll do it. Dang, if you were a library book, I'd totally check you out. Oh! <laughs> So, uh, Matt, what kind of injuries did you get? Um, that's about it. That's about it? I th didn't you hit your other leg? I thought you hit your other leg. It wasn't too bad. It was that? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to go to the hospital for that night. Are you serious? Just like, a little. I think that might, uh, might need some stitches. Like, which ones do you think is worse? Like, I'm, I'm thinking it'd be that one right there. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for watching our movie, and here's some deleted scenes that unfortunately didn't make it into the movie, but will hopefully deter you from doing stupid stuff, like we just did. You should turn off the camera. Dude, I can't see, dude. Ready. I'm not that like a break though.